and YouTubers, Abdur Sam back here with Galaxy Note from AndrewTechBlackspot.com. Right now we are reviewing official Sana Gemma 10 on your Galaxy Note for AT&T, Rogers, Bell, Telus, whatever. As long as it is a LTE Note, not international, this will. This is what we're doing. It's gonna be same on international, but this is the review for the AT&T, so might have different stuff. This is Sana Gemma 10, which is running Jelly Bean. 4.1.1 and this is the screen you will be at after you press after you go through your welcome screen right now I don't have sim card as you can see right here there is no signal that's why I have to sign in to my Wi-Fi it's gonna recommend me to do it and which I will do it right now and there you go I'm gonna block you from seeing my Wi-Fi password connect hopefully I enter the right password and there you go it's authenticating right now my router and everything is right there not even like 20 centimeter away so it should connect really fast I don't know why it's taking time gonna hit forget I'm gonna log in again I'm sorry about this waiting I think I had a wrong password that's the reason now here you can sign in and it will start installing your applications that you have under your signing username which you use mostly to sign in your Google account I'm gonna hit no I'll sign in later this is your regular startup that used to be in your ICS this is your usual ICS aka tribute launcher for your Sanajimat ROMs. Let's go ahead and check out the ROM launcher first. As you can see, these are the application. It comes with only one page, five by five. And these are the widgets comes with. You can hold on to a widget and drop it. You don't have email set up that's so why it's not gonna appear, but that's how you set widgets. There's a torch application too. Great. Let's go ahead and go to the system setting and see what we're running right now. And there you go, it says CM Queen City user debug 4.1.1. Queen City is the name that ATT gave it to this, like Galaxy S3 is D2 ATT. That's the name you will find under the model name under your build prop. And here you go, that's just Jelly Bean, and I'm gonna make you smile like that. All right, let's go go back and start talking about the Sanajima feature that it offers. The launcher, as I told you, tribute launcher right here. It's point two. Copyright goes to Sanajima 10 of 2012. Home screen here, you can do different customization of grid size, home screens, default screen, vertical padding, horizontal padding, search bar, resize any widgets if you want. Uh, hide icon labels that's a must for me because I know most of the icon that I put it on my home screen and these are the other functions that it gives you so dark divider fair indicator so page indicator then under drawer you have your app drawer setting kinda sound like app drawer but no it's app drawer generally you can have a rotation setting right there you can have your screen to rotate if you want I don't really like that here you got lock screen setting again on second that's your different kind of lock screen what kind of lock screen you want and that's your lock screen options then what what kind of background you have on your lock screen you, you want where do you want your clock to be alignment battery status owner's information if you want to have your name appear on that like a P P D R O I D. It will do that. 
it will I think appear on your lock screen right there app drawer my bad you couldn't see that because of my finger but that's where it appears then you can have display weather calendar so you can see upcoming appointments and sa slider shortcuts if you want to have that then under themes you can download all the themes from your play store just search for Sana Jumartian themes download it and you can come back here and install and hit apply which will give you nice themes then system this is really big so under see this one you got so clock if you don't want to see it you can't see it then AM PM style battery status style I really like percentages and signal how can how do you like signal so I put it on 10 and it's negative 3 83 dBm I guess then notification drawer here you have all the functions for notification like widget buttons notification drawer is this so if, I, if you click visit buttons right now it's only four we can have like multiple widgets button and it will scroll I think I just quit we're gonna go back into the system notification drawer and we will add the widget buttons now widget button orders which one you like the first that's your torch button so if you're at night and if you're scary you can turn on the flashlight and you're you're not gonna be scared no more because you can see what's in front of you then close app drawer on change not app drawer notification drawer high scroll bar high haptic feedback those are the settings and functions that notification drawer offers now under wallpaper you can have sign my wallpapers choose that and select your wallpaper I have this one on my S3 I'll select that then live wallpaper no wallpaper and other wallpapers you can select font size which if you're like kind of blind and if you want more or lo larger fonts you can select from here huge and you can see right there it just makes a hybrid font I'm gonna go small regular power menu this is the power menu looks like has extended power menu too when you press reboot it gives you three options so now if you sc select screenshots it appears right there uh, under the power menu hardware keys you can have this hardware keys right here and you can enable that functionality change it the way you want here you can mess around with that and figure out which one you like if you like back button to do search and search button to do back you can go ahead and do that it's your own choice here's your advanced setting for your screen scenarios more outdoor mode if you are if you're outdoor if you're noticing you cannot see it go ahead and try that out I haven't tr tried it yet so I cannot tell you how good it is or something and here's your sensors you can mess around with them here profiles you can set up your different profile like when you come home what do you want the phone to do so you want to turn up Bluetooth disable it then you want GPS disable you want portable high Wi-Fi hotspot disable you want mobile data to disable because you want to use your home Wi-Fi so that works and uh, go back again these are the and we can go to performance these settings are included for experimental and any changes made to them have potential to cause instability so if you don't know what you are doing please do not touch this and complain about your phone rebooting all the time or dying on you batteries hogging up here's your processor so you can change your CPU governor and uh, minimum maximum frequencies this is your stock kernels you don't have that if you want overclocking kernel you can download hot wires kernel from xda <laughs> sorry i forgot to mention set on boot settings so what do you want it to do when it sets you can have it set the process on the boot when when you re reboot it those settings might erased so you want that press that button to have it enable when the phone boots it again ios scheduler memory management 
16-bit transparency and surface improvement so you can match it on with them as long as you know what you're doing and this is it you guys it has Google now let's go ahead and try that and I can see what I always say in my videos Lakers excuse me and right there Lakers flip flop or flopping the rule let's hope they get another title and this is your official sound of my 10 reviews Apollo music this is really good when you're playing a song I don't have songs but if you're playing a song you, that this right here on your lock screen it appears and that's your typical television lock screen with those bubble thingies I don't know whatever you call it unlock it that was my first and one of the best signage my 10 reviews please go ahead and hit the like buttons right there down there subscribe button is right there and this is what I call 6ix9ine position so please do it for that if you load 6ix9ine positions please subscribe and hit like button and I'll see you in my next video thank you for watching guys